is this the worst Nendroid ever made? Let's unbox it and find out. When it comes to Nendroids, we've had a lot of weird and bizarre choices. From Thomas the Tank Engine to some more popular characters. And today we're going to look at Boxo or Hakon from Reborn as a Vendor Machine, I Now Wander the Dungeon. I had to buy this. The reason being is that I am actually a huge fan of the light novel series of this particular one. But I've got a sneaky feeling that... Well, I've got a bit of despair with this one because I feel like, well, Good Smile haven't really put much of an effort in. It's a vending machine, so there's not really a huge amount of things you could do with it. However, much like the series did show, you can do a lot more with a vending machine than you might originally think. Now, in my personal opinion, this should have been with Boxo and the girl. It should have been a deluxe edition. You should have had Lamy and Boxo because let's face it, Boxo here is an accessory. This should never have been released as a separate one. But there might be some hope. Let's unbox him and see if he's actually worth owning. So, as you can see here, this is the figure. Hello. Um, yeah, there's literally not really much to this. It's a hollow rectangle. <laughs> it's a vending machine. Um, yeah. What can I say about this particular figure? Well, yeah, I mean, they could have at least kind of made things so you can at least push that and open that. Uh, I feel like it looks nice for what it is, but I mean, come on. There's so much they could have done with this. You could have made that open. You could have done something with this. Um, the eyes, I don't know how, what this, this, this thing is because I kind of got the impression that, ah, yes. So you can actually put stuff inside him. That's actually pretty cool, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And the face comes off. Yes, so I was worried that we were going to get stickers with these because it genuinely did look like that. But no, you do get some stickers for the cans, but the actual figure itself comes with face plates. So you can display him with many different ones. So yeah, we've got bottles, sad face and happy face. Hours of entertainment. Here is Boxer with his happy face. Here is Boxer with his sad face. And here is Boxer with no face and is just a standard vendor machine. <sighs> wow, so much fun can be had with this Nendroid. Now, yes, I did go out and I did purchase this Nendroid, but let's face it, this is going to be the Nendroid that, well, I think it's a bit cheeky to kind of release this as a standalone product. They could have easily put the girl in. I would have happily have paid 6,000 yen and even if you just had two faces and they included like the vendor machine as a kind of extra, that would have been fair enough. I think asking for 4,000 yen for what is literally just a hollow kind of thing with, yes it does have a few different faces that you can change but let's face it, there's literally nothing with these really is there. I mean, yeah, uh, I, if anything, it probably looks better as a standard vendor machine. It doesn't have any features, you can't move it or anything like that. <sighs> There's just nothing here. And it's quite sad because, I mean, Vendor Machine is a great series. It's just, there's nothing. But do you want to know something that's even more funny than the whole of that? They give you a base. The vendor machine that stands on by itself has no issues of falling over it's pretty sturdy gives you a base and a peg to make it stand even more on a shelf absolutely ridiculous you do get some cans as well but yeah, let's face it yeah boxo is pretty much the worst end drive that i own simple as that 
I kind of get what they're kind of trying to do. It's a joke figure. The light novel itself is considered a joke, even though I genuinely find it pretty well. But it's kind of clear that they're just doing this because they could get away with it. And let's face it, this is going to be the popular pickup when it comes to them releasing the mystery boxes next year. This is going to be in a lot of mystery boxes because I can't see many people wanting it. While the things you get are pretty cool, yeah, it's nice to get a few cans, but let's face it, this is just pretty poor. They could have done so much more with this and chose not to, but instead we have what we have. At least that's just my opinion. What do you think of this Nendroid? Good or bad?